Hello, my name is Suzanne Edwards. I'm a student at Jefferson State Community College where I'm taking the Childhood Development 100 course under the instruction of Dr. Shackelford. Today, I'm going to present to you the contributions of John Amos Comenius in early childhood education. John Amos Comenius, also pronounced John Amos Kaminsky, was a bishop in the Czech Republic who believed he could help give educators a better guide in the effectiveness of education. He has provided us with many ideas, materials, and teaching methods that have greatly impacted today's modern early childhood education. Today, I will be highlighting several of those aforementioned ideas, materials, and teaching methods. Comenius was not a fan of the traditional education at this time. He did not appreciate the dull practice of memorization that was used. He did not feel like the methods were humane, engaging, or entirely re relevant to the child's life. A large belief Comenius had was that every child, no matter gender or status, deserved the right to an education, much like Martin Luther did. This idea carried on by each influencer in early childhood education would one day become today's universal education. Comenius also believed that from birth to age six was the most vital period for development. This was the best time for language to be taught and developed, as well as the foundation for arts and sciences. All of his research and findings in education led him to author several prominent texts that he thought would greatly improve society. Comenius believed that all education began at birth and should be tailored and conceived by none other than the mother. He referred to this as school of the mother's knee. Not only did he encourage mothers to focus on the physical needs, but to create an environment where they could learn through play. This is widely used in today's early childhood education. Comenius also believed that even the youngest should have access to literature. As you can see, Comenius was very focused on mothers helping their child from the start. This led him to write a book called School of Infancy. This helped mothers to guide their youngest at the beginning of their educational journey. Comenius greatly encouraged picture books. In fact, Comenius authored one titled Orbius Pictus. This is actually believed to be the first ever picture book. Creative woodcuts and illustrative words, including concepts for young children to build on. This was very engaging for infants and toddlers due to them not being ready for phonics yet. To this day, picture books have greatly inspired countless children in their love of literature and their love of learning. After great observation, Comenius concluded that young children learn best through spontaneous play that the child would initiate themselves. This is prevalent today because much of what is taught in our state's pre-K programs are designed around the concept of learning through play. Comenius prom promoted the use of toys, puzzles, and building materials in the classroom. Comenius' view of education wasn't like any of his time. He strayed from the belief that Latin should first be taught and insisted that the child should learn only their natural language up until the age of six. He supported the idea of a child learning practical knowledge that they could use in their everyday lives as well as in the future. This practical learned knowledge would consist of words for geography, simple arithmetic, simple songs, and the identification of body parts. Because of this idea, he created a curriculum that did just that. Not only did children learn through play, but Comenius noticed that children, especially younger children, absorbed more by hands-on learning 
also known as kinesthetic learning. This made a child's educational experience more concrete instead of abstract, making it easier to remember and more applicable to the child's life at that current moment. This thought process makes up a great deal of what we call today developmentally appropriate practice, or DAP. DAP helps today's educators decide what to put in or take out of a child's curriculum, leading to a much more enriched scholar. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and could see the many different ways in which John Amos Comenius contributed and still contributes to early childhood education today. Thank you.